Today is the extraordinary beginning of a new era. My name is Jared, and it is an honor of Tu Bishvat that I say that I will be attempting to defeat the 1995 World Champion, again, the same way that I did with the Octopus deck in Episode 1, this time with a tree deck. Now, very interestingly, for those of you who probably know something about Magic the Gathering, you'll probably know that there are also some variety of creatures that are animated trees, and they are actually called tree folk. This is not a tree folk deck, but rather the majority of creatures in this deck are actually trees themselves and so they have tree not tree folk not tree person not tree thing they are actually trees and one thing you should probably know about this in case you're fairly confused as to the dynamics or probably are a complete beginner or know absolutely nothing about this is that there are actually a number of trees that will actually exchange the life totals of the players with their own toughness or how much damage it takes to destroy them. So pretty much what's going to happen is that the life totals are important in Magic because you need to get them to your opponents or all of your opponents life totals to zero in order to win. And so there's going to be a lot of very interesting tomfoolery present in this match that you're probably not going to see in many other decks. Okay, so let's celebrate the Jewish New Year of the Trees and let's start a match and hope we can win shall we one fantastic thing about this deck is that it will make you realize that everything is better with trees let's show that to the world shall we okay oh uh, no not that's not entirely necessary okay bone me destroy the bone me i should learn to pronounce your name because after all i took you from a dialogue in a language that i learned several months ago okay bone me destroy of the universe is going first jared the great you are going second i want to keep the hand uh yeah i'll keep the hand okay very very good all right, so let's see what exactly I have. Um, good. All right, nothing. No monkey business thus far. And it seems that I am in a good place. Um, that Zerun Orb does not look promising. I do not like it. I do not want to see it. It is extremely cruel. I wish that it never existed sometimes. Okay, so, yeah, now you're going to make me discard a card. Okay, I think I should discard. Uh, yeah, discard... Tree of Redemption is not entirely useful at this point. Okay, here, Tree of Perdition, and uh, attack with that thing, and hope that it does something. Okay, hello, you. <sighs> I positively despise you with every single ounce of my being. You have no understanding how much you are hated. Okay, I don't have enough to afford that quite yet. Uh, let's see if I can get the singing tree, which will hopefully be nice. I have an idea. Maybe he'll attack with that, and then maybe he'll walk, which he will not. Okay, so now um, your life total is 14 now. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to discard something at random. Luckily, it gets the ghoul tree, which is... And then another one. Okay, I need to... You took pretty much the only thing that I could have possibly used to win, but whatever. Okay, well, luckily, you know what? You have incurred the wrath of the trees, and you shall, for this terrible deed, never be forgiven. Okay, I'm done knowing, leaving that tapped. Okay. Careful. Oh, hello, you can actually... Oh, that's not entirely necessary. Okay, we're on assessman, uh, assessman, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, no, I have completely lost any ability to pronounce everything because I'm under a significant amount of stress. Okay, and then, all right, whatever. Everything's annoying me. Oh, no, the rack. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not very nice of you to do that. I'll have you know. Okay, uh... And then effectively nothing nothing goes right. Nothing is capable of going right. <coughs> <coughs> and that is the end of me. I am going to no, no, no. Okay, well luckily damnation which I cannot play, you know, concede. Death. Farewell. Let us show the world that it is trees that effectively own the world and govern everything in it. Okay, uh, very well, so, uh, Jared the Great, you have won the coin toss, would you like to play or draw? Yes, I am taking the first turn of the game, thank you very much, okay, what exactly do I have here? That's a little bit iffy concerning what varieties of land I have, okay, this is fairly reasonable, and I do not think that I need the, uh, adaptive automaton right now, okay, fine, very well, you, I'll get a tree, uh, planting trees makes me feel like a good human being. You, on the other hand, effectively did swords to plowshares, which causes me to think very interestingly of a lot of metaphorical, in metaphorical dimensions as to exactly what you did, like with the 
tree holding a sword or something about agriculture, or maybe it somehow was deemed unfit by whatever agricultural um, customs you practice, but in any case, sometimes I need to learn how to stop overthinking things. Okay, this is just plain lovely, and here I am with virtually nothing with which to play anything, and I feel like a fantastic and fulfilled human being, and I am probably going to lose. Okay, hello. <laughs> this is not good. This is very ungood. Double plus ungood, and hello, forest. This is extremely troubling. Okay, here I am. I wish that I never had to see Icy Manipulator or Zero Orb for the rest of my life, but I guess that's exactly, and Disenchant is going to be evil and not a very positive influence on my life. It is what it is, however. Okay. I don't want you to... <sighs> This, this is just mean. This is just mean. This is not nice. I don't like what you're doing. I am not pleased with what you're doing. I wish you would stop doing it, to be honest. Okay. Well, I guess this means it's the end. Alright. Just eat me alive. Farewell. Blub. The new year of the trees in the Jewish calendar is coming up. Let's win it for the sake of this holiday, shall we? Okay, so let's see what we have. Boon me, destroyer of the universe, is going first. Jared the Great, you are going second. Do you want to keep your hand? Uh, yes, I will keep my hand. Okay, very well. Okay, Tree of Tales. Yeah, another tree-themed card. Fantastic. All right, uh, now the Utopia tree is significantly important because not only is it one of the tree cards, but it's also very essential in setting up very essential mana bases that I need in order to succeed. And then effectively you manage to, with fantastic strategic determination, take a tree from me. Fantastic. All right, fine. Let's see exactly what you have. Mishra's factory that I positively despise in every, with every ounce of my being is still present. I am not very happy with what you are doing. I am not. I'm just simply not. I do not want to see you. I do not want to hear from you. You are not nice. Okay, fine. Let's see what I have. Okay, Dance of the Dead. Okay, very well. You, I'm afraid I do not want to see Mishra's Factory in my life any longer. I want it completely gone. I want it vanished. I want to see no trace of it. Okay, uh, let's see how long this will... And you attack me with a tree. Wonderful. And then uh, I get a bunch of stuff discarded. Probably stuff that I needed. Yeah, ghoul tree. Yeah. And great, no, not Ghoul Tree, Grape Sifter. Okay, seems that I'm probably gonna lose this one, but I will try ever so passionately in order to ensure that it doesn't happen. Wish it probably will, anyhow. Oh, okay. Um, Singing Tree again, and Land Tax. All right, just put out stuff and just wait until things happen. Okay, good. All right, so I have absolutely no offensive potential whatsoever, so I'm going to probably need to, um, okay, I want to see you tapped. Okay, fine, very well, so that way I can keep on using you for storage. Okay, very good. Okay, I see manipulator that I positively despise. Okay, tree of redemption. I can actually use that in order to uh, fortify my life total significantly. So what this does is the tap is the 13 toughness, and then you can actually exchange your life total with that toughness, which makes it very, very interesting in the event that you get a, a attack with something massive, which can be moderately painful to deal with sometimes. But, uh, okay, finally now I get the tree thing. Okay. All of my plants will get plus one, plus one. I feel like such a good farmer. And then the automaton goes farewell. He decides to go to the next world and end up in pieces. And the vampire that I positively hate. Okay. Well, luckily, I've shared... No, I don't want to destroy everything. I want to get rid of you specifically. Okay. Also, I didn't really think I needed to do that because I effectively had the, the tree thing that could serve as a deterrent. Okay, so I'm going to keep on... So keep the stuff in your hand until you get, like, that disrupting scepter thing that's extremely annoying. Okay, fine. So when he attacks with that thing... Okay. He's going to attack. Okay. I am not allowing you to be anything. Okay, very well. On tap hollow trees. Okay, I'm going to leave it tapped. Okay, and you, I'm afraid, are going to be a nuisance, so I'm not going to allow for your presence in this sphere. Okay, I have no idea what's happening. Okay, except for you are not going to be dealing any, any damage to me. Keep all the stuff tapped. Okay, I, I don't care. Give me, give me stuff. That's the only thing that really matters in this regard. Okay, continue. All right. 
Come on. Okay, and effectively my giant tree got eaten by a sword. What fun. Okay, you, you. Very well. Okay, keep the trees tapped. Okay, give the trees stuff. Okay, and so hopefully when I get a very, very big tree, then that will spell doom for Bunmi, destroyer of the universe, who is giving me such extraordinary difficulty with everything. Okay, the rack. Fantastic. Okay, leave stuff taft. Okay. And it seems that I'll be taking damage if I don't play stuff. Okay, luckily I don't need to play any of those things, so they're remaining on in my hand for the time being. And uh, you over here. Okay, and you meant eat so much for my brilliant plans. Okay, dum bum bum. Take lots of stuff. Okay, uh, let's see. No, I can't play this until next turn. Um, okay, I'll wait. Okay. You're going to tap this, and then if you attack with that, then I'm going to ensure that you don't do that anymore. Okay, uh, I'm going to untap and untap. Okay, very well. Okay, so I'm going to play, uh, no, 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 no. I want a six. Tap, and then play this. Auto, and then I get this, and then I get all my plants back in my hand. I will hope for at least two of them. Okay, very well. Okay, and then he gets that Royal Assassin back, which is going to be annoying, but I can deal with that. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, you stop it. You do not bring a solace to anyone's life. You just bring pain and misery. Okay. Uh, let's see what I can do. Yeah, if I attack with, uh, with that thing, then something will happen. Okay. Farewell, and farewell, Grave Sister. Okay, you are not, no, you block, okay, and then you tap, and then nothing happens, I would hope. Okay, very well. Okay, I'll need another singing tree, that would be helpful. And there is no way you are getting past me, I would hope. Okay, hey, how did you, no, <laughs> you found the killer combo, you know you can like tap everything and then get rid of everything, that's, that's not very nice of you to do, it's really not nice of you to do, you should really consider your moral understanding of the universe, reconsider should I say. <sighs> okay, well I guess this means I don't get the fantastic privilege of winning now, don't I? Okay, there's, there, 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 there's no point in me continuing. One small step for trees, one great step for the ecology of tree kind. Okay, so I have won the coin toss. Let's see exactly what I have here. Do you want to keep your hand? Uh, yes, this seems good. I have the Utopia tree, which can produce mana, and from then I can actually use various destruction spells in order to get annoying things out of my way. And this deck being world champion and all that is extremely annoying. However, one thing I did not count on being annoying was the fact that Disrupting Scepter was going to show up this early. But luckily it can't be uh, as annoying until later on, and so that's okay. I can actually use that to destroy an artifact. So, farewell. I don't want to hear from you anymore. I don't want you in my life. Okay. Uh, Tree of Redemption. Good. All right. So, and then I get the Icy Manipulator that I hate. Okay. Fine. Very well. Well, let's see. What should I do? Um, hmm. Okay. I have a lot of choices here. I think one thing I can do is I can get another tree. That would be good. All right. Fine. Uh, I have no idea what's happening. I'm fairly amused by all of it, but not very amused in a good way. Okay, fine, very well. Uh, attack Utopia Tree, and okay, let's see. No, I can't play that thing quite yet. All right, and I can't play that thing quite yet. All right, well, I can play that thing and get rid of the, that thing, so that is a redemption. It is a blessing on my head, and it is a fin to the whole universe. Okay, um, get stuff. All right, good. So, hopefully, um, so I can do, I will attack you with the giant thing that is going to start eating up your life total, and you, ah, I, you are literally the last thing I wanted to see. I did not want to see you. I did not want you. I did not like you. I am not pleased by your presence, but you are what you are, and I understand fully that that was really something I didn't want to see. Okay, well, luckily I have the destroy all creatures reset button in the event that you're being annoying. Okay, fine. <sighs> Alright, attack with this. Okay. 
I am sorry, but I'm going to have to do this. All right, and can I play this? Now, luckily, that will cost only three mana, but luckily I will. And then, effectively, you take the thing. Okay, I want all the plants, and thank you for giving me all of my plants back. I really enjoyed that. Okay, and but you get your vampire back, so that's very much the other thing. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, the Mishra's factory crew decides to come back with a vengeance just for the sole purpose of annoying me. Uh, okay, what exactly do I head? Uh, no, that's that's not going to be very helpful right now. Okay, but luckily I do have that. Okay, let's see if I can... Okay, uh, what can I do? Do I... Can I only play that during my turn? No, that's good. Well, Singing Tree is going to be very helpful. And, uh, let's see. Right now I just simply have to play a waiting game until everything goes according to plan. Okay, Dark Ritual, Sengar Vampire, which I hate. And, uh... <laughs> See, can I play this? Yes, I can! Very, very good. And luckily, the Singing Tree is going to keep on neutralizing that evil vampire thing that I hate. And uh, hopefully, that I'm not going to have to deal with that thing anymore. Okay, and then I have to discard two cards at random. And then the other Ghoul Tree is gone. Praise the Lord. Okay, fine. Let's see what I can do. Hopefully, you're going to block with both, aren't you? Won't you? Okay, well, you're significantly more dangerous. So the vampire is going farewell first. Okay, and that's not much that I can do. All right, now I just simply have to live with the consequences of my actions, which include meaning you have Ghoul Tree right now. <sighs> this is not a situation that I like. It is, but I can, however, block, so that's one useful. I told you to block, whatever. Okay, fine. Yep. Okay, I have at 13 life now. Let's see how long I can actually keep this up. Okay. Er, you know what, just let me check it. There's no way I'm winning this. Trees are fantastic things. If you are watching this video, you should probably be thanking a tree. I have no idea what I just said, but somehow I liked it. Okay, Jared the Great, you are going first. Do you want to keep your hand? Okay, I have a bunch of mana things. And actually, I don't have a lot of mana things, and that's going to be significantly frustrating. Okay, I have a bunch of ghoul trees and not really much else. Let's simply hope that I draw something. Well, I do not want that right now. Okay, good. Let's hope I don't screw this up any more than I have to. All right, good, 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 good. And then Mistress Factory, you seem to be significantly stuck. And then Adaptive Automaton, I choose plants, so all of my trees will get plus one plus one. I feel like a fantastic farmer right now, and then I have Dark Vanishing in the event that you want to start something funny, but let's go ahead and tempt you into it, shall you? And you don't take the bait, as I expected you to. And the rack! <sighs> you have given me so much unbelievable pain over the course of my life in a way that I cannot, nor will I want to describe. Okay, so here, and uh, let's see what I can do. Hopefully I can tempt you into... No, you're not going to do that. Okay. And then, oh, I do not want your presence in my life. Farewell. Woohoo. Okay. Good, I get more stuff, and I will attack with that thing, and then hope that, uh, okay, fine. Tree of Redemption. Very well, so, uh, can I do that? No, no, I don't really want to, I, I don't want to, I don't want to push things any more than I already have. Okay. Very good. Okay, luckily I can get rid of that thing in the event that it tries something funny. So let's go ahead and attack with that. And it does not block, because there's only so much that you can do. Alright, uh, let's see, what do I have? Okay, just simply keep on attacking with the robot thing. I think that's going to be good. It seems that he just simply ended up drawing a bad hand. But I welcome the... Okay, let's see, what do I need to get rid of? Okay, well, I have a full hand right now. I don't considerably care one way or the other what happens. And uh, keep on attacking, and he manages to press disenchant on the automaton thing, hereby ruining my life and generally being an annoyance. Okay, so Grave Sifter, luckily I can get the I can get the adaptive automaton back, and uh, you somehow got Sanger Vampire back that you needed to discard. Oh, all right, very well, and then brilliant. Okay. I am not pleased with your conduct today, Mr. Bunmi, destroyer of the universe. Okay. Hello, robot. And then goodbye, robot. And then goodbye, lots of other things. Okay. Grave sifter. And then let's see what I have. Okay, just give me the give me the the robots back. Okay, and then oh right, fine, very good. All right, let's see what else. And then we have that Royal Assassin thing that I positively despise with every inch of my being. And you are going to be felled to a destruction spell, and I'm going to attack you for five damage. And 
uh, yeah, you survive via sacrificing lands, which is extremely annoying on my part, and then here you are again. I am not pleased with your conduct, I do not like it, I do not want to see it, and effectively all the creatures are destroyed. Don't come back! Did you hear that? Because I want you to listen to that extremely carefully. And by listen carefully, I mean actually listen to it. Okay, so here we have our 10-10 creature that's going to be intercepted successfully. Oh yeah, it actually occurs to me that like old-timey magic, they wouldn't use the word block, instead they would use the word intercepted instead. And let's, congratulations, I won the first game. Now, let's hope that I can win one of the next two. Okay, boon me, destroyer of the universe, is going first. Jared the Great, you are going second, I'll keep my hand. Okay, fine. So I have two forests here, I have Utopia Trees, I think I could definitely manage that right now. And, um, so I think that's going to be okay for me to manage, and I have a swamp, which is even better. Alright, let's see what I have. Okay. Annoying rack thing, which I despise with every single ounce of my being, and if I could utter a magic word to make it vanish from existence, I would have actually done so three days ago. Alright, so let's see what I have. Okay, automaton robot thingy. Okay, all my plants get plus one, plus one, good, and disenchant, which is annoying. Uh, it just simply feels like an endless game of tit for tat. But uh, to some degree, I think that as long as I'm the last one that's tatting, then I'm quite okay with that. Okay, Mistress Factory, which is annoying and uh, effectively attacked me, and the one thing that I could have done in order to have gotten rid of it is gone. Okay, I want all my plants back. Okay, and wait a minute, I should have actually picked uh, the other thing. Uh, <laughs> Adaptive Automaton. Yeah, I should have picked you, because otherwise you would have had nothing. All right. And it seems that I just simply have to hold still and just be patient because if I need to get stuff in my hand because otherwise I'm just going to keep on taking damage. All right, just stay as stay the way things are, okay? Don't attack. Remain still. And then you have another one of the rack things, which I deem extremely problematic and vexing. Okay, keep things. You're okay. Okay. And then the vampire thing shows up just when I least wanted the presence of that evil creature anywhere near me. Okay, let's uh, hope I can, uh, okay, attack with this, hope he makes a bad move, which he does not. Okay, and then I get eaten by a vampire, at least in part. Okay, okay, don't screw this up. Okay, so one thing I can do is I will tap, and then I will gain 13 life, and so that is good. So, very well, and then I have to discard two cards. Please, Damnation. Oh. By the way, Damnation wasn't necessarily an expletive, it was actually the card that destroys all things that I was actually wishing for. And did I get it? No. Or even, like, a destruction spell would have been useful, but uh, I guess I cannot be, cannot be expected to have nice things. All right, fine. Very good. All right, this, this does not look good. This is not good. This is very bad. This is extremely bad, and I lost. Okay, now I just simply need to manage this last one and hope that I can pull it off. Okay, I don't have any black here. I should probably... Nope, that's not good. That's not good. That's even less good. That's... Oh, all right, brilliant. You know, I'll just have to keep this. This is... Uh, <laughs> I might as well just simply submit my pink slip right now. All right. Doubt I'm winning this. All right, now now I know how you felt that other game, okay, and the, the tree that I was supposed to depend upon for my salvation has been rendered to its world. Unfortunately, it's not a very useful place for me to actually benefit from it in any capacity. Okay, and uh, it seems that you are not very nice, and that is the end. Goodbye. Trees are fantastic creatures. You should be grateful for every single time that you see one. And, however, this opponent, I'm afraid, is not going to be of the same opinion. Uh, Jared the Great, you have won the coin toss. Would you like to play a draw? I will go first, thank you very much. Okay, uh, do you want to keep your hand? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll keep that. Okay, good. Okay, Hollow Tree is one of our tree-themed cards. It's um, effectively, if you keep it tapped and during consecutive turns, it will actually keep on gaining the possibility to add more mana, and so it's an initial investment that pays off later on. Okay, um, to, to having to discard two cards, which I positively loathe. Okay, 
Uh, let's see what else I have to deal with. Okay, the hypnotic spectre thing. I, I, I. Okay, this does not look good for me at all. This does very much not look good for me. And, uh, <laughs> all right. Not good. Not good at all. I'm not happy. I am not happy with what's happening at all. But some things I just simply have to live with. Trees are fantastic things to have around you all days of the year. So let's have a look. Okay, Bon Me, destroy the universe is going first. Jared the Great, you are going second. Do you want to keep your hand? Okay, let's see what I have. Okay, things that destroy things, and also the Tree of Redemption, which you can actually use in order to exchange its toughness with your life total, which is actually helpful under certain circumstances. But there aren't many trees in Magic, and so I really had to take whatever I could get. Um, to some degree, I really think that that's what creativity is. And it's actually setting yourself significantly limited boundaries and then finding what you can do with them. It's a wonderful and disrupting scepter. Nope, not allowing you to be here. So, Putrefy can destroy any artifact or creature, which is extremely useful under these circumstances. Okay, uh, Tree of Redemption. Okay, and then the Singing Tree, which can tap to pretty much neutralize any attacking creature, which is helpful. Now, here I am with absolutely no hint of offense in the slightest and hoping that I can actually get a card that can be fairly uh, offensive in a good way against Boon Me, Destroyer of the World. And because, let's be honest, I actually don't really want to see you destroying the world. Actually, I don't really want to see anyone destroying the world, come to think of it. Okay, Singing Tree is coming back. Okay, very well. Okay, so luckily, let's see what I can do. Attack with five. All right, good. And then the, the evil vampire thing comes. I am not pleased with your conduct today. You have been bad. Okay. Strip mine, spirit link. Okay, you are going to be power zero. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, attack thing. All right. And then chances are because you have the Zuran Orb, which you can actually use in order to sacrifice any land and gain two life, is that you're probably going to <laughs> hold on for as long as you can. And that's uh, okay. All right. Uh, attack. Okay, uh, that was exactly what I knew you were going to do. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to attack with it? Oh, no, not, now you have another thing to attack with. Isn't that lovely? Okay, fine. Well, luckily you're not going to do that. Okay, uh, attack with stuff. Okay, and it um, seems that you're holding on for just a little while, and then you put that thing back. Just exactly where and when I did not want to see it. I want it eliminated from my life. I do not want it to see it anywhere near me. I do not like it. I do not want it. Okay, fine. <sighs> All right, let's hope I can, okay, attack with these things. Hope someone makes a stupid move, and that's not what happened. Okay, uh, very well, whatever. Okay, attack, just keep on going on the offensive until, okay. You, there, there's no way, there, you, there's no way you could have done that. Okay, fine. Well, luckily I have this, and so you're not getting anything. Okay, plant. Good. And then you get a little specter back, but luckily you seem, you seem to have actually sacrificed all of your lands in order to merely hang on for dear life. It doesn't... Okay, well, you're not doing anything right now. Okay, get eaten by trees. Boom, may destroy the world. Next time, you should be grateful to the creatures to whom you owe your very existence. I don't know, I even know if that's supposed to be a scientifically supported statement in any regard, but I will try. Okay, Boon Me Destroy the Universe is going first. Oh no. Uh, Jared the Great, you are going second. Okay, I have Hollow Trees, which is not very helpful, so, uh, well, I... Oh, uh oh this is not good. Okay, I should probably hold on for the time being. I need to get some variety of lands. I just need two, and then I'm okay, because I think it's a lot better than... I really should have not done this. And then I get at least... Oh, brilliant. Well, isn't this lovely? Okay. Uh, discard... Damnation. Okay. Very well. This is not the sort of things that I want to see. Okay. Discard... You tap your tree again. Okay. And then effectively you get a tree. Congratulations. But you feel like a real winner now, don't you? Okay. Uh... I want one land, please. That's not a land. That's actually a robot. And 
keep in mind. For the future, robots are actually not lands. Useful lesson to keep in mind. Okay, you better not pull any of that disin... I knew you were going to do that. Okay. <laughs> this is a bad dream. Somebody wake me up. Help. <laughs> no. Leave tapped. Okay, uh, I need stuff. Okay, fine. Untap next turn. Let's just simply hope I can hold on long enough in order to actually ensure that something happens. Something good happens, I mean. Okay, untap it. Did I actually press the leave tab? Okay, I have no idea what's happening right now. Okay, fine. Uh, I was stupid. I deserve to lose that one, and here I am getting eaten by a tree. At least that is some variety of solace. I have no idea what on earth I'm doing. And, uh, nope. Bye-bye. Farewell. Okay, let's hope the next game goes by significantly well. Okay, I lost the last game. Okay, this looks fairly promising, thankfully. Okay, I better not jinx it. Okay. Utopia tree, very, very good. Okay, so, I mean, brilliant. My one mana source that I genuinely needed is, has departed me under most painful circumstances, and now you get the, the giant whatever thing. Okay, I just need one more land. I said land. <laughs> now I'm about to be beaten in a handful of turns. No, <laughs> you can't do this to me. No, this, this really is a bad dream, isn't it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> so the Kobold episode had some sound issues, and so as a result, I turned off the annoying sound effects altogether. Okay, let's see what can happen here. Okay, Bound Me, Destroyer of the Universe. Actually, Boon Me, I should know that from my loud course. Destroyer of the Universe is going first. Jared, you are going second, yeah. What made you think it was a good idea to let a destroyer of the universe go first? Also, it looks like a goat. Do I want to keep my hand? No, this is not a good idea. Okay, uh, do I want to keep this hand? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. So, putrefy, yeah, I should probably keep that just in case. Okay, hello, Swamp. Good to see you. Not good to see you. All right, fine. So, here's the variety of things that we have. So, we have hollow trees, which is one of the tree-themed cards, and um, it will actually generate enough mana when kept tapped until it hopefully can actually generate a large amount. Okay, hello. Hi, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hate untap. No, I'll leave that tapped. Okay, so keep on generating stuff. Keep on doing as I tell you, my minion. Okay, strip mine effectively got rid of the entire thing. And then we have Mistress Factory that I hate. Um, Tree of Tales, which is an artifact. All right, this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. Lord, save me. Okay, fine. Should target artifact or creature. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, I'll probably somehow get rid of the Mistress Factory, dude, if you're being, a. Uh... okay, fine. I'm not, I am not allowing you to ruin my life any more than you already have. Okay, fine. All right, Singing Tree, fantastic. So you can tap this to actually reduce any attacking creature's power to zero, which is actually extremely helpful. It's also very, very powerful. Okay, discard one card. Uh, I don't think uh, Tree of Perdition is going to do me very much good right now. Okay. Uh, no, I should probably save that. Okay, no creatures to destroy quite yet. All right, so here I am on the defensive. And, all right, I just want one more land. Good. Okay, can I play this? Yes, I can. And now I have a 10 10 creature. And let's see how you manage to deal with me, Mr. <coughs> destroy <coughs> Destroyer of the Universe. He's going to be destroying my throat in a minute. <coughs> ah, yeah, yeah, that's not going to be very good. Okay, you stay here. And damage. Okay, I've pretty much. Okay, oh no, not you again! No! <laughs> okay, fine, you know what? I will attack, hope that I win, and yes, that is one match in my favor, one game in my favor. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, let's hope I can win. Bound Me Destroy the Universe is going first. Okay, what can I do? Uh, I probably do not want to risk this because I don't have enough lands for that to be tenable. Okay, keep. Uh, Gull Tree, yeah, I'll keep that on the top. Okay, fine, very well. Uh, tree of Tails, we have another tree. Um, <laughs> and then Disenchant gets rid of my land. Fantastic. Putting me at an inherent disadvantage. But you know what? I'm going to keep on going because champions only go forward. All right, so two forests here. I have a bunch of uh, tree tree that exchanges its toughness with your life total, tree that exchanges toughness with that of an opponent. Okay, and then here we have Royal Assassin that promises to be extremely vexing. Okay, so let's see what I have here. Oh, ooh, not good. All right, and I can't get rid of that thing because of the... And now I have to discard a card. Great. 
All right, I should probably keep Damnation. Dark Vanishing is probably not going to do me any good. All right, Utopia Tree. Thankfully, I can get this in order to ensure that I can get stuff. And by stuff, I mean mana, which is very important. You really had to do that now, didn't you? Okay. Mm, I have to discard stuff. Uh, yeah, Tree Redemption is not doing me much good right now. Okay, Hollow Trees and... Yeah, I can't play anything. That's just simply how it is. Okay, please don't know. <laughs> Alright, I guess Skull Tree is going to have to untap Hollow Trees. No, I'm leaving that tapped, thank you. Okay, uh, so Putrefy, yeah, I can actually get rid of that. Alright, fine, I don't care. You're, you're gone. I thankfully do not need to deal with you anymore. Okay. You. Alright, well, luckily, oh, now, now what do I have to do? Oh, no. Okay, that's probably going to be my only offensive strategy that I have. I, do, I can easily go without the other tree. Okay. All right, I have to be very, very careful. Okay, so, all right, so I think I know exactly what to do in this case. You make me discard one more thing, and then I'll untrap the hollow trees, and then I'll have enough mana to pay for the gowl tree, because you've been making me discard everything. You've now, okay, untap, very good. Okay, tap, I want two, and then let's see how much I can pay, and hello big monster thing and effectively you exile me and then gave me 10 life that was not very nice of you for that was not nice of you i'll just simply say that okay discard one card okay i don't know i'm leaving that tapped okay <laughs> no. all right fine i need to get one of the trees out as quickly as possible okay tree of redemption i don't necessarily need okay leave tapped okay what do i get what are... brilliant all right, now I'm just going to have to hope that, uh, all right, I have to discard things. Uh, yeah, leave that tapped for the time being. Okay, another hollow trees. Yeah, not that this is going to do me any good at all. Okay, leave stuff tapped. Okay, leave everything tapped until I tell you to do otherwise. Okay, hello, Utopia tree. You are provide absolutely no offensive uh, potential at the moment. Um, but I hope that you will become useful later on. I don't have any black mana right now. Okay, fine, very good. Okay, now we have Tree of Redemption, which can very uselessly exchange my 28 life total with the 13. But, um, interestingly, I think that this will prove insurance against any possible, uh, offense in the future. So, currently, oh no, not you! All right, fine, leave tapped. Okay, calm down. Don't be over dramatic. This is a waiting game. Oh no, you did not. Okay, well you know what? I could just no. I I didn't I I didn't want you to do that. No. Okay, whatever. You have trample. Okay. No, I do not. Okay. Well, you know what I can do? I can actually exchange my life total, and then I'll take the three. Okay. No, I'll leave that tapped. Okay. Very good. And uh, let's see. I think I could possibly take one more from you and. Breathe. Okay. Tear. No! I should have actually just simply tapped that, but I'm an idiot, and I was just simply clicking too many buttons, and now I'm going to... Okay, you know what? Uh, no. Alright. Alright. And for some odd reason, I'm going. Okay, let's hope that this one goes over well. Okay, um, do I have anything interesting in here? I have Tree of Tales, stuff, stuff, stuff. Uh, yeah, I could definitely keep this. Okay, uh, hopefully we'll not do that whole disenchant thing that you did the last time that I deem extremely annoying. Okay, fine, I get the Utopia Tree. Good, okay, I, I knew you were going to do that. But luckily I have another land and another tree. I plant trees for the benefit of humanity, and by the humanity I mean my own despotic self. So... Let's uh, see exactly what we have. Okay, Tree of Perdition. All right. Uh, hopefully you are going to... Uh, not you. Not you. No. Okay, fine. Well, you know what? I, I am not pleased with your conduct. But I am going to ensure that something else can happen as to what that something else is. I'm not exactly certain, but uh, no, I have nothing in my graveyard, so the Gal Tree is not going to be very helpful. I need to get rid of that somehow. All right, this is not good. This is very not good. This is extremely not good. I need to get rid of that vampire, and I need to get rid of it fast, because it's not going to be doing anything useful in my life. And, wait, how are you tapped? No, I, I want, I, okay, fine. I'll just simply live with it for the time being. Okay. I, okay. 
all right, fine. I have to. I have to be very, very. No, no. I can't. I can't afford to lose that. Take everything. Okay. Uh, that and uh, grave sifter. Uh, let's see. I choose a choose plant. Whatever. Sliver. Okay. So luckily, luckily, I have this annoying thing. Give me. Okay. Leave tapped. Okay. This is not good. Okay. Tree of redemption. Just exactly when I didn't need it. And, uh, <laughs> yep, I guess that's the end of me. Okay, farewell, world. Hello, vampire. I am not pleased with your conduct. So this will hopefully be a memorable victory in the name of all trees. So let's have ourselves a victory. Jared the Great, you are going first. Do you want to keep your hand? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, fine. Uh, play land. Good. Go onward, the rack, which I positively hate, um, punishes me for having significantly fewer cards in my hand, and I am not happy about it. Okay, it's obviously not going to matter right now, but in the late game, it can genuinely be deadly to a degree of which it is extremely annoying, and it is not something that I really enjoy seeing at all. Okay, fine, so I get the Utopia Tree, you can trap that for mana, so one of the many tree-themed cards in this deck. And uh, let's just, another tree-themed card, so Hollow Trees is a bit of an investment land, as I call it, so you keep it tapped, but for each consecutive turn you do keep it tapped, you actually get more counters, which can actually pay off with additional mana, and so that's uh, very, very helpful. Okay, so luckily, <sighs> Disrupting Scepter, which I hate. Okay, oh, let's see, what else do I have here? Good. Okay, uh, very well. Okay, uh, let's see how much. I need 8 mana in order to pay that, and that's uh, currently not going to be happening right now. Okay, so I just need to do this for a number of turns, and then I'm okay. Okay, do I want to untap? So now I need 6, because I have one more card in the graveyard there, so 2. Okay, now I have... Uh, uh, yeah, no, I need 7. Okay, so leave it tapped for the time being. Okay, very, very, very good. Okay, uh, so I'll just simply, I don't need Tree of Perdition right now, because uh, um, that would just simply serve to benefit you, and so I'm going to, you really had to do that now, didn't you? You really had to do that! <laughs> okay, well, you know what, you know what, okay, untap, okay, very well, okay, attack with everything, and I'm going to go ahead and destroy the planet. Bye-bye. Okay, and then we get that evil vampire thing again that I positively hate, and uh, for some reason, okay, luckily this will only cost three mana, and uh, luckily I can hopefully play another one. Okay, there's there's no way you're getting out of this. Wait, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I, that was a mistake. No. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'll have to learn how to live with my mistakes sometime, but luckily that only cost two. Okay, attack with thing. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, do the true redemption. Yeah. Okay. Untap. No, leave it tapped. Okay. I have no idea what's happening right now. Okay, attack with the thing. Okay, fine. Very well. Now it's just simply an issue of surviving for the short term. Okay. Uh, attack with the 10-10, and I have won. Okay, let's hope I can win one of the next one. Okay, boom, me destroy the universe is going first. Okay, so this, yeah, this does not look too promising, but I think it would be a lot better if I kept this than many other things. Okay, I'm gonna get a forest. Okay, the rack. Oh, again. All right, hollow. <laughs> All right, not. Okay, great. I love seeing you in my life, Mr. Royal Assassin. I'm so pleased to see you. You cost me so much trouble. Okay. All right. So let's see what do I have. Okay. I just simply need to remain calm until something happens. Okay. Fine. So I think the wisest choice would be okay. So first I need to get that, and then derp, bam, bam. And then I get the Tree of Perdition, which I can tap in order to exchange its toughness with an opponent's life total. Okay, keep it tapped for the time being. Okay, get another one of those. All right, don't try anything funny. Do you hear me? Okay. Yeah. You have, you have no understanding of what I'm going through right now. Okay, um, keep everything tapped. Okay, stop. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so this is interesting. And, all right, good. Okay, keep this stuff tapped. Give me more counters. 
generally, Mr. Computer, I like having more stuff. Let's keep that in mind for future transactions now, shall we? Okay, keep all of them tapped. Okay, give them all counters. Okay, hopefully when I get a ghoul tree or something like that, that will be very helpful. And uh, right now, I, I have only destruction spells that are not going to be very helpful. Keep it all tapped. Okay, so these trees are being very helpful in their... How do I put it? The way they provide power and solace to yours truly. How have trees benefited your life? Let me know in the comment. Okay, so let's see right now. Okay, dark ritual, mind twist, and then effectively make me discard everything. Okay, just leave everything tapped for now. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. And then I get Adaptive Automaton, okay, so choose plant, so all of my fantastic trees will get plus one, plus one, and then right immediately it dies. Okay, so I'm going to untap one of them and leave the other two tapped, okay, just in case, just in the event that I actually get something fulfilling. Okay, uh-oh, it does not seem that I'm in a very, very good spot, because it seems that the rack is catching up with me. Okay, leave tapped, okay, okay, uh, yeah, there's, there, there's no way I'm winning this. You you did a you did a genuine number on me with the whole. <laughs> That's just lovely, isn't it? Okay, I cannot afford to lose the next one. Okay, so this looks. Okay, I get a mulligan once more. Okay, that was not helpful. I'll mulligan once more. Okay, fine. This is good. I can keep. Okay, adaptive font of Maidon. Not. The best thing, but I think it would actually be helpful, maybe. Okay, fine, good. All right, good. I want to leave it tapped for the time being. Okay, uh, very well. And uh, let's see, then I have to discard two of my things, but luckily not my... Okay, untap. All right. Your tails, utopia tree. Good, good, good. Please don't... You had to do that now, didn't you? <sighs> well, listen, this is just lovely. Okay, get more stuff in the event that I get, like, the cards that I really, really need. Okay. Helpful. All right. Um, so, <laughs> no, this is not good. This is very not good. This is extremely not good. And uh, <laughs> now I'm gonna get eaten. Goodbye, world. It's been a fantastic place. Goodbye. <laughs>